Now this photo I'm about to show you behind me is probably one of the most freakiest photos I think I've ever seen. Now as you can see it's just a crappy photo that was actually going to be disposed of until they saw something sinister in the photo. Now I know all the photography experts are going to be like look the lighting's diluted and all this sort of thing but there's something in this photo that's pretty unexplainable. Let me show you. Now if you look closely behind this tree there's a creepy face. When I take a closer snapshot of it you can see it just here. Let me get closer again. Now I don't know about you, but that's definitely a face. Now although it's dark, look when I zoom in behind that tree. Now this is zoomed right in. Somebody explain this photo to me. These poor kids. Disturbing photos taken right before tragedy part 2. Here you can see the 14 year old Keith Sapsford who was hiding in the wheel of the plane. The photo was taken by an amateur photographer who was testing his new lens and he caught the boy's 200 feet fall to death. What do you think the boy was thinking at that moment? Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory part 19. This photo of Richard Hickok and Perry Smith shows two murders after hearing that they've been sentenced to death. They murdered a family of four and planned to rob them, but they found nothing worth stealing except for a mere $50. The girl on the left is wearing a wire. The girl on the right has no idea. Together they stabbed one of their friends to death, and the girl on the left confessed to the police and is now cooperating with them. Besides the pixelation, this looks like a couple getting married surrounded by their loved ones. However, all the children in this photo were horribly physically and mentally abused until a couple of them managed to escape. The man in this photo was actually on a first date with another woman. When he heard that Japan had surrendered, he left his date, got drunk, and walked into Times Square and grabbed the first nurse he saw and kissed her. He ended up actually marrying the girl he went on the first date with and she has no problems with this at all. However, she says that in all these years, George never kissed me like that. Here's five mysterious photos that cannot be explained. Number one, the Hook Island Sea Monster. This photo was taken in 1964 by a couple in a lagoon, the creature's estimated to be 80 foot long. Number 2, the Solway Firth Spaceman. A father took a photo of his daughter and captured what appears to be an astronaut standing behind her. He claimed no one else was present when he took the photo. Kodak inspected the photo and said it hadn't been tampered with. Number 3, the Babushka Lady. She was taking photos at the assassination of JFK. The FBI searched for her, but her identity was never discovered. Number 4, the Black Knight Satellite. Photos were taken of the satellite in Earth's orbit in 1960, and then it vanished. And number 5, the Goddard Squadron photograph. This photograph was taken in 1919 at the funeral of a squad member, Freddie Jackson. Squad members claim they could see him in the photograph. Pictures taken right before death. First we have this 18 year old girl who wanted to get the most extreme selfie, so she climbed up a bridge which was about 30 feet high. And then she fell off, but it wasn't the fall that killed her. It was on her way down, she grabbed some electrical wires, and they electrocuted her. This picture was actually taken by a guy who was just testing out the new camera that he got, and it shows this 14-year-old boy literally flying out of a plane. It turns out he was hidden in the plane wheels, and during takeoff, he somehow fell out, and it was caught on camera. This looks like your typical best friend picture before a night out, right? except the night would end in disaster with one of them using the belt she was wearing to strangle the other. And she then blamed it on being intoxicated and said she couldn't remember anything of the night anyways. Normal looking photos with a disturbing backstory, part two. In this picture, you can see a diver posing for a photograph. But what you don't see is another diver in the background that went unconscious. And this diver is trying to save her life. This picture looks pretty normal for someone being on vacation, right? Well, this photo was found on the camera roll of two vacationers who were swept away and killed by a tsunami. In this picture, you can see a father and his kids smiling at the camera. Only moments before, this car exploded. Luckily, everybody survived. Welcome to Crazy Stories. These are the top three scariest, freakiest, unexplained photos ever part one known as the famous homecoming photo the mother took this with the daughter's phone and if you look up here in the upper left hand corner looking in from the window is something you don't want to see number two scary clowns if you look up here to the left and to the right 
You'll see some of the weirdest, creepiest clowns I've ever seen, and what the hell is that thing on the horse? Three, looks like a normal family dinner, doesn't it? Now let's show you the other side, to the left. Here's what they saw when they developed the film. What the hell is that? Here is the bonus photo. This shadow is all that's left of a man after the bomb on Hiroshima was dropped in 1945. Here are some photos taken right before disaster, part 13. This photo was taken at the Burning Man Festival. He decided it was a good idea to run into the burning effigy. And just like you would think, he burned to death. That was the last photo ever taken of him. This photo shows 14-year-old Keith Sapsford. He hid in the wheel of a flight leaving Sydney towards Japan. The photo was taken by John Gilspin. He was testing his new camera lens out and ended up getting the last moments of Keith's life. This is the last photo ever taken of Geraldine. She decided it was a good idea to go on a hiking expedition all alone. Her body was only discovered two years after she initially disappeared. When her body was found, it was discovered that she had survived some 20 plus days after she initially went missing. She had likely died of starvation and exposure to the elements. She had attempted to contact her husband with a text asking him to call authority. So she knew she was gonna die. Pretty sad. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 18. The girl in this photo was arrested for torturing and killing animals. She filmed herself doing it and even posted it online. She hanged her dogs by their collars, nailed them to walls, and even shot them with an airsoft gun. She would then cut them open and rip out their internal organs. This sweet looking little girl is Jeannie, also known as the Wild Child, who spent the first 13 years of her life chained to a chair and this photo was taken moments after she'd just been rescued. This normal looking scenic painting features the ocean with the night sky. However, it was painted by Adolf Hitler, whose dream in life was to become an artist. However, he failed the entrance exam to art school and ultimately gave up. These pieces of yarn in a first grade classroom are the trajectories of the bullets fired by the Sandy Hook shooter in 2012, who killed 20 children and 6 adults. The reason that the angles are pointing downward is quite disturbing when you think about it. Photos with disturbing backstories, part 2. February 2009, Travis the Chimpanzee attacked Sandra Herald's 55-year-old friend, Charla Nash. Travis tore the skin off of Charla's face, he inflicted serious damage to her limbs and he began to eat her flesh. Travis was familiar with Charla, however on this particular day, Charla changed her hairstyle and this may have alarmed Travis. Sandra tried to stab Travis to stop him, however this made him more angry. Sandra ran to her car and locked herself in the car and called the police. Send the police! Send the police! What's the problem there? The, the, the chip killed my... My friend! What's the problem with your friend? Oh, please! What's the problem with your friend? I need to know. Get the police off! With a gun! Gun! Hurry up! You're off the gun! The photo behind me looks pretty normal, right? In 1989, an 11-year-old boy named Jacob Wetterling went missing. 27 years later, in 2016, his remains were finally found. With him, they found his soccer jersey, which can be seen in this photo. After the remains were found, his killer did come forward and admit to the crime. These are normal looking photos with very disturbing backstories, part one. This seems to be a normal class picture that anyone would take at their school. But if you look closely, you notice something a little out of the ordinary. You see, if you look close enough in the top left corner, you will notice classmates Dylan Clubold and Eric Harris holding up fake guns. But little did people know, these two would move on to commit the mass school shooting of Columbine High School in 1999. This event began to unravel as these two 12th grade students shot up their school, killing 13 people and wounding 20 before turning the gun on themselves and killing themselves in the school library. Police later found a 20 pound propane tank that they set to detonate and go off inside the building to blow it up. But since the bomb didn't work, they started the killing spree themselves. Nothing but sadness and sorrow filled the air that day as students mourned the loss of their fellow classmates and teachers and Columbine was considered the worst school shooting at the time and still goes down in history till this day. The photo behind me looks pretty normal, right? This is a photo that was taken by Aneka Botting on her GoPro. When she took this photo, she had no idea what was going on behind her. In the corner, you can see a group of boys. 
When she took this photo, she had no idea that the boys were frantically trying to get their friend out of the water. A 28-year-old Taiwanese man slipped on a rock and fell into the waterfall. The water pressure from the waterfall prevented his friends from getting him out of the water. It is believed that he got stuck underneath a rock shelf.